Hello, you're watching Crypto Market News, and I'm here with Lori Kehoe. Hi, Lori. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. What about you? I'm I mean... great, thank you. <laughs> Uh, which are the major sectors that already deploy Ethereum blockchain solutions uh, to solve industry problems? There are many, uh, is what I would say. I think the, the best example that I can give, and a recent example, is one called Commodities Go, or it's called ComGo. So there are 15 different entities working together to create the new trade finance platform. So how trade finance is going to be done. Um, and it's not, in the, it's not in the distant future. It's not even in the future. The first phase is going to be going live very soon. So that's entities such as uh, Society General, ING, ABN AMRO, Mitsubishi, Citibank. Uh, a number have come together to create this cool platform. So that for me is probably the best example that I can give. What are the top three benefit points of Ethereum? that Ethereum promises to enterprises? I think the big thing that Ethereum has, especially over other blockchains, is that it's ultimately programmable. If we look back to Ethereum's roots, um, Ethereum saw and Vitalik and Joe Lubin saw that the Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin blockchain was great and cool, but it wasn't easy enough to create applications on top of, and that was actually the real impetus for Ethereum to be born. So um, that is, the key differentiator for me. I guess smart contracts are another key feature to the technology um, and ultimately it's decentralized. So they're the, they're the three things. Which industries will be the next ones to implement blockchain? So I think what we're seeing is a shift uh, at the moment or a lot of interest from the public sector in blockchain technology. So if we look, for example, one of the, one of the things that we are working on and very proud to say is that we're working with the European Commission as part of the EU Blockchain Observatory and Forum. <music> help them understand what the technology is, to help them harness the power of blockchains like Ethereum, um, and also to help them identify real world applications that are applicable in the public sector across the whole of the EU. So I think that for me is an area that I'm increasingly now getting involved in. The next big thing in Ethereum is migration to proof of stage algorithm. When exactly will it happen? So this is something that's being worked on, right? This is a significant deal in the Ethereum community. So we are working or moving from a proof of work to a proof of stake. Based on Vitalik's latest update, it's going to be kind of Q1 2019 is when it's supposed to happen. But this is a big deal. This is a significant update to the Ethereum blockchain. It's uh, what Vitalik has called Serenity. A big part of that is the beacon chain. And what that's looking to do is it's looking to separate transactions to effectively augment scalability. So to get over that scalability challenge, um, which we're actually hearing less and less of now, and it's more about the applications of the technology to solve real world business problems. So the way the beacon chain is gonna work, that looks at finality and validating transactions, whilst the shard chain looks about actually um, the, the transactions themselves and how the data is managed. So between those two things, that's gonna help facilitate and enable um, proof of stake on the Ethereum blockchain. And what are the main advantages of this migration? So I think, look, a, a big thing that we hear a lot about uh, in terms of proof of work is that it can be challenging to the environment, it's computationally um, inefficient or heavy, and this is gonna change that uh, model. So it's not all about solving ever-increasing, mathematically complicated and energy uh, heavy, uh, I guess, uh, approaches. This will help significantly reduce that. Skeptics suppose that migration to POS will not occur. Do they have a reason to doubt? It's a big shift for sure. However, there are, there are the smartest minds in the blockchain world, I would argue, with uh, Vitalik, with Joe Lubin, with Consensus, um, all working on this. So um, I'm certainly not skeptical and I'm actually really, really excited about it and proud to work for Consensus and be contributing to that. When you're creating the next internet or Web 3.0, um, things don't always move as fast as people would like. So I, I think there's probably been some delays. Yeah, it's going to take a little little bit of time. So nowadays blockchain is not very understood within like just ordinary people. 
they are scared of this technology, they don't understand it, and that's why they criticize it. So what can be done in order to make it less difficult for people who know nothing about it? Sure, and I think this is a question of being proactive, but also time as well as the technology matures. So I think on the, the proactive side, countries uh, all around the world are increasing their, I guess, focus on education, at a, especially at a third level and also at a corporate level. So a thing that uh, we've initiated in Ireland is a program called Blockchain Ireland, and there is an, that is a, a, a state-backed initiative to help really make Ireland I guess take advantage of the opportunity of blockchain technology. So Consensus is proud to say we're working with that body and initiative, um, but effectively a big part of that is also how we work with universities in Ireland to help them create programs around blockchain technology. So how do we teach people um, about the Ethereum blockchain, how to write smart contracts, but also how do we teach executives to understand what the technology is. So I think that's a, a big part of it. But also I think what's going to help is, is that in 2019, as these use cases become live or applications become live, people will care more about the value that's being unlocked or a better service that's being created rather than what the blockchain does specifically. Let's focus on the, the business benefit um, rather than getting overly, I guess, indulged into how it was achieved through certain hashing mechanisms, the case may be. Let's focus on the value that's being created. Yeah, I think that's not that important for just normal people. They don't need to understand it fully. They just need to know how to use it. Absolutely. And we go back and we look at the similarities to the internet, right? So even today, right, the internet's been around for a long time. But if you ask people, how does it work? Most people won't know how it works, right? Exactly. So I think a lot of people are getting hung, hung up about blockchain and how it works when ultimately what we need to show and demonstrate and which consensus will be, you know, is and proud to do is the value that it creates. So how do we connect companies on a peer-to-peer -peer basis? How do we connect people on a peer-to-peer -peer basis, creating cheaper, better, faster products? So thank you so much for My your pleasure. time, Laura. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.